Hi, my name is Casey Cooper, and I like big drums. Hi, my name is David Cola, and I like small drums. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's up, friends and family? My name is David Cola, and I play the drums. David Cola is here, and when David Cola is here, you have to, to create fun videos. And so today, uh, I'm going to tell David Cola all the reasons that big drums are way cooler than small drums. And I am going to tell Casey that small drums are the way to go when playing drums. It's not true. All my life, I've loved big drums, and I mean, when you see a drum set that that's, that's that tiny, I mean, what do you, you can't even like... You laugh when you see that someone pull up to a gig with that. Are know? we already getting into this? You just want to go at it? You just want to go at it? I mean, how is just like... You cannot... You can't beat that. Now, okay, no, let, let, me, let me just say something. Okay. Now, who... Who in their right mind is going to take this drum set at a gig? I've taken much larger drum sets to gigs. Oh, well, I feel so sorry for you and your back. <laughs> so I, I love the low end, I love the boom, I love the punch, and I just don't know if you can do that on a little tiny drum set. It probably squeaks, don't you think? One, you can punch even harder and tighter, and you don't break your back. And you have less to carry, uh -huh. less things, smaller, easier to set up, easier to tear down. It well, makes your life so much easier. I still haven't heard. Okay, yeah, that, that did have a little bit of something to it. But Punch. it's not like... being a beast at the drums to like further your point but I that's the thing Casey is I, I can <laughs> I, I can play with this even more intensity okay. on a smaller okay. kit and well, still and still get the same point across but do you have any beefiness in your snare drum Maybe less overtone. All right, well, here's the thing. Smaller drums can also sound deep, and my snare is definitely not tuned for that right now. But, There's the excuse. But, the excuse. but. Most of it came from me adding the 16 into your, your fill there. You wish. <laughs> okay, okay, but what about... But uh, here's the thing, Casey, it's not the 70s anymore, it's 2020 now. I was gonna look at you and say, but you have all sorts of holes in your hi hats, but <laughs> the hi hats you set up for me. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Here, okay. Here's the thing. I don't like playing big drums because, especially the deep, deep, deep ones. Mm. Because here's the thing. I like to play fast. <laughs> well, other than just playing fast, I like to play drums and uh, not feel like I'm being held down, you know? Mm. And when I'm playing deep, deep stuff, it just doesn't give me the same response uh. as higher pitched, smaller drums. Like when I when I hit that snare earlier, I hit it and it didn't come back. Mm. It it didn't give me the same rebound, like straight straight rebound. And with that, I can actually play again with very little and to no effort. 
Okay. Basically, the actual translation of what he's saying is it's way more impressive when I play something fast on this drum set than it is when he plays something fast on his little cheater drum set over there that gives him all the response. It's like it's like using mesh uh, electronic pads with all the rebounds. It's cheating. Uh, I'll be over here and I won't break a sweat <laughs> while you're over there. Glug, 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 blah. Glug, glug, boom. But here's the thing. What? When you show up with a big, massive drum set, like, you know, 17 toms and 18 cymbals, people automatically assume you're a really good drummer. So I don't have to be anywhere near as good as you, but when I show up to the gig, I look like I'm just as good. But then, Casey, you you start playing. <laughs> and Whoa. I think that's... Are you going to pull the flag I, I, think, I think that's when people would be like, oh... Okay, and I think that's that's the that's the difference, you know. Is it, it doesn't matter what drums you play. It depends this on was, the player. This was all a joke until he just made it really personal and hurtful, and uh, I don't know what to say anymore. You're attacking my small drums. I can't let this happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what what are your sizes? Because right, so I've never seen a bass drum that might be my floor tom before. Well, good thing it sounds better. <laughs> oh, 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 we're pulling it out. I don't know. What sound? What's what sounds better now? <laughs> can you do it a little faster. Can you do it? See, I don't have the same rebound. It's the rebound. Oh, you want me to play? You want me to show you? <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. Okay, okay, here, here we, we go. go. Here we go. To the audience, I will be the better drummer. Uh -huh. the, the audience of non drummers. But the, the audience. The, the of drummers in the audience will know that I just have a cool drum set, or I think it's cool. The, the non drummers in the audience will be like, that's the better drummer. You know what I have to say to that? Size does not matter. <laughs> For real. <laughs> what are the sizes? Aye, 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 aye. I have a 13-inch snare, I have a 12-inch rack tom, I have a 14-inch floor tom, and I have an 18-inch kick. Well, I have an 18-inch floor tom, so your kick is the same size as my floor tom. Now, think about this. Yep. I bring the biggest size that I have to carry is 18 inches, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. I don't have to carry anything bigger, I don't have to try to fit anything extra in my car. Oh, that's a whole nother talk. Um, okay, so let me talk about my sizes. Yeah, I've got a 24 inch kick, mm -hmm. 13 inch rack tom, 16, 18 inch floor toms, 14 by 8 inch snare drum. So my snare drum is 3 inches deeper than your snare drum. Wait, what are you trying to say? I don't know. Here's, here's the, real, the real purpose of this video. Now all the banter has been fun, but Honestly, we wanted to create a video that showed you that as a drummer, small sizes can actually be really, really helpful. Uh, the other day, I got a Pearl Midtown kit from, uh, from Pearl. Tiny little sizes, it's awesome, super great for transport. I played it, and then I sent it out to LA, and David plays it all the time now, mm -hmm. and it sounded phenomenal. And it kind of got me down to like, maybe I really do like small sizes train. And so I wanted to show a video where I'm showing that those drums over there can sound really freaking good. And maybe you don't have to carry all this stuff. And if you have a small car, maybe you should try smaller sizes. So let's just take a second here and uh, lay down some grooves and go back and forth. And I want to hear how great that kit can sound. Because, I mean, that, that is a reference pure kit. That's a, that's a great kit. But the Midtown kit sounded really phenomenal, too. Also, if you haven't checked out our videos on that, you should check them out. So yeah. lay something down for me, David.
I'm gonna give you a pass and say that I guess sometimes small drums are okay if you just you know have a tiny car and you know barely any drum skills and things like that. Sure. <laughs>